certain mornings I wake up and it's clay as hard as a rock. So during summer times, warmer days, it's much easier to work with this clay. I'm not sure if you can see my lamps from there, but on certain days I'll put lamps on above and two sides of the dog or the skull. Let the lamps warm up the clay before I start working on it. And working with this clay is so darn hard that when you work with your certain tools, you don't want to apply too much pressure because eventually you'll snap your um, tips constant friction back and forth, something's going to give and it's going to be fragile tips. So I'll try to warm up the clay before I apply any type of pressure here. side make sure I'm symmetrical and this section does not look correct so we're going to build this up here I said looks but it's more a combination of look and feels it didn't look no didn't feel correct Sometimes working with lights like this, you have shadows and highlights, so sometimes you get an optical illusion and you're not quite seeing what's really there. So your best bet is to just go ahead and use your hands, fingers, and kind of get a feel for it. This piece will most likely have a classic bronze patina to it. I'm not going to apply any colors. So it'll just be your typical classic brown patina. Sometimes when you have a sculpture and you start applying different colors to it, it actually brings it to life and it hides all the flaws in it. Other times it just brings out all the flaws. <laughs> show you what I like doing sometimes also it helps me uh, organize a little better. Hold on. Find it. Here we go. This is referred to as a uh, profile gauge. I'll demonstrate right now looks like. The way you do this, kind of get it all lined up. Find a side you like. Let's start from here first on this portion here. And just push in and allow the gauge to pick up the contour. So we're about at this height, which is 
is about there. Transferring the height over here. So we'll flip it in this direction. Second. Well, first let me make sure this is the side I like. Yeah. Two fingers away from this end. on that I need to remove some mass from here. Probably a quicker way of doing it is as follows. Let me demonstrate. my torch this whole section where it's going to line up Just soften it up this is an alcohol torch it's denatured alcohol in there and I'm just warming up this whole section here you constantly want to be moving the bottle, the torch, otherwise you're going to end up burning your clay and you don't want to singe your clay. Yeah. Hey. My daughter just woke up. Let's see how soft it is. Just one more. These gauge profiles are pretty inexpensive. You can pick them up they're metal or plastic. This is a plastic six inch. That yeah, is a six inch. Sometimes they come in 12 inch, 8 inch. I also have a, a metal one. I don't think I like it as much as I like this one here. The metal one's a uh, 12 inch gauge. They use these here for, um, I want to say, the woodworkers for carpentries, pick up profiles of molds, different sections when they're working with the wood.